Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to show you guys a couple different money methods that you can be doing right now to make a ton of money. So before we actually begin with all of this, let's just go ahead and give our daily shout out to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published, so thank you for that. And if you guys want to be featured in the next one, all you gotta do is is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also comment down below. That way it helps with the video's rankings and actually has more people see this video. Alright, let's just continue with all of this. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just go into any GTA Online session. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and make your way over to this U logo, which is going to be the UL Paper Missions. Go ahead and set a waypoint there and just go there now. Once you arrive there, just go ahead and go to the little highlighted circle over here and then just go ahead and start it. Now the mission is going to be different for me if you're just starting out. I'm not exactly sure what the mission's called, but I'm on my third one which is called ULP Extraction. So what you want to do for this is go ahead and set the difficulty to hard mode for the most amount of cash in RP. Also, this way, you get the ULP missions are going to be at two times money in RP, so take advantage of that while you still can. From here, just confirm settings, and then you can do this by yourself if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get someone else with me. Okay, so we did manage to get three people. Once the mission starts up, you just want to go ahead and do what they tell you to. So for this one, what you have to do is go to Agent Johnson's Garage. I'm guessing to go ahead and like get to her and then apparently take her somewhere else. Not exactly sure how this mission is going to go, but if it says extraction, we're probably just extracting somebody to another location. Okay, so we're looking for her whereabouts. Okay, we gotta look for clues here. Nothing too suspicious. There's papers over here. Once you get done looking for clues, you actually gotta go and enter a vehicle and check for the GPS locations for Agent Johnson. Once you get there, there's going to be, basically, it looks like an abandoned bunch of planes that it's abandoned. Anyway, you gotta kill a bunch of the people there. There's gonna be police officers and also agents. Once you do that, you can finally find her and then take her back to the IAA building. Once you get here, the last thing you gotta do is take her to the hospital and then you are done for the entire mission. So we got the mission passed and complete. We made ourselves 40000 three hundred and twenty dollars which is really good and we got ourselves a whopping eleven thousand eight hundred and forty rp and between the mission times this did take a little bit longer than i was anticipating so it probably took around i'd say like 12 minutes 12 to 13 minutes for this which isn't bad i mean we made ourselves forty two thousand dollars in literally like 15 minutes which is not bad for low levels but it's actually not the best one either so with that being said, let's just go ahead and move on to the second one. The next mission we got is we're going to be sourcing motorcycle club vehicles. Now this is something that they just added as part of the new DLC update, the criminal enterprise. And so basically what this allows us to do is that you know how with the auto shop, you can source vehicles, sell them to clients. You can do the exact same thing, but with motorcycles. The only requirement for this is that you do need to own an MC a club. What you need for this is that you need to own a motorcycle club. You can do this by going over to your phone, go over to internet, and then you want to click on money and services. Go until you find the foreclosures mazebank.com, enter site, and on the top right hand corner we have all these different options. You just want to choose clubhouse, and then you have a couple different options to choose from it from here. And you also got some way up here you can do it. Now if you do own the criminal starter pack, you can get this one for absolutely free. Now the one I have owned is going to be over here at Haywick Clubhouse. And it's actually pretty nice. It's very convenient for me because I'm always in this part of the map. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and head to our clubhouse. Once you get here, what you're going to notice is that there is going to be a motorcycle inside of your AMC Clubhouse. And what you can do is you can either buy the bike for yourself or you can modify the customer's bike and then deliver it back to them for a price. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and modify it because I'm not trying to buy the vehicle. And then what it does is it gives you a different types of options to actually choose from it. 
once you get to the shop you go ahead and you basically just want to choose every option that they tell you to they're going to tell you exactly what to do on the bottom of the screen here so you see it respray color olive green dude that's a terrible color i don't ew, who wants olive green so now that we're done with this the service cost will cost us ten thousand dollars but we will receive additional payment up to fifty thousand upon delivery so what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and modify it we get ourselves a loss of ten thousand but we are going to make a big gain from this so let's go ahead and just deliver it and it should actually be no issues. You should just actually have to take it, and that's it. And boom. Our payment is finally ready. We went and delivered it. Don't know why they made us go to the other side of the entire thing. This was also the same way with the first vehicle, so I might have to switch the location. But from here, we made ourselves $60,000. $50,000 for delivery and $10,000 for the service cost. Guess that we got our $10,000 back, so that's actually really nice. And this only took us just literally a couple minutes to do. So now what we're going to do is just go ahead and call Imani, and then we can search ourselves another vehicle. There we go. And then after that, just take the motorcycle, and go back to your clubhouse, and deliver it. And then again, you can confirm the modifications, and then deliver it to the client, and just repeat this process over and over. So it's actually a really good money method for you guys. Now I believe there is a cooldown for actually delivering the customer's vehicles. So you do need to be careful for that. With that being said, let's just move on to our very last method. But first, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars maybe some buildings and businesses but nothing to what you need luckily we have op mods op mods is a gta 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a five star rating of trust pilot but they're also a lot cheaper than the other gta 5 competitors and you can even use code discount legit for a five percent discount on all your purchases thank you and back to the video the next money method is going to be doing exotic exports. So if you guys actually look around the map, you might see this blue little dot. It's going to be where the exotic exports are located. And these only occur every so often, so they're not always going to be there. So if they're not, what you want to do is just go back to your office and export one from there, which I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if you do see this blue dot on the map, all you gotta do is go back and deliver it to the docks, which will be way over here. And there we go, we made ourselves $20,000 for actually exporting it. And this literally just took us a couple minutes to do it for the fact that it was already ready and there for us. That's really all I have for you guys. What I recommend doing is just doing the ULP missions. Once you're done with that, service a motorcycle, service a vehicle go back to the ULP missions and just keep doing that whole cycle over and over and you will get yourselves a lot of money really quickly and make sure that if you do have a lot of money you want to buy a submarine because then you'll be able to do the Kyle Prego heist and that is still the best money method even though they did nerf it a little bit so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. Also follow me on my TikTok because I am trying to get to 10,000 followers. So if you can help me with that, I would really appreciate it. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.